Hello, I'm the Rude Man. Welcome to my desktop. I've had several people recently ask me, how do I get the version of course play that you use? And it's not as easy as grabbing a file and dropping it in your mod folder. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial and show you how I do it. The first thing you need to do is you need to have a program that can unzip and rezip a file. So I use 7-Zip. There are many of them out there. There's WinRAR. I think even Windows will do it. I like using 7-Zip. Uh, That's my favorite. So if you go to 7-Zip's download page, you're going to see something like this. And um, if you have a 32-bit Windows system, you can use this one. If you have a 64 like mine, uh, you can use this one. There's many other uh, versions that you can get. So just download whichever one, the 32 or the 64 that you need. Just download it and install it. It's an execute file. Once you download it, just double click on it and it'll, and it'll uh, load this program for you onto your computer. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, CoursePlay's web page or CoursePlay's GitHub page. And I'll put the links to this in the description, but uh, this is what you're going to see. Now, these are all the files that make up the course play program right here. These are all the files, and these are the ones that they're currently working on. So this is a developer's version. What that means is it's not a complete uh, a program. It's not done. They're still working on it. So this is what they use to develop the program and to make their changes and to find out whether they're going to work, if there's conflicts, all that kind of stuff. So remember, this is a, a, this is a, a mod in uh, beta form. It's not finished. There could be bugs in it. So if you're comfortable using that, um, then, then I'll show you how to do it. So if you look at these now, you'll see that eight days ago the course generator was changed. Ten months ago, the image was changed. Two hours ago, they had some translation changes. Eleven months ago, the uh, editor config was changed. So you can see that, that they're constantly working on this. The first thing you need to do is go up here where it says clone or, and, uh, or download. Click on that and say download as a zip. This, this will show up in your download folder on your, on your computer. All right, so we're back on my desktop. There's course play right there. You notice it is a zipped up file, and this is where 7-Zip is gonna come in. Right click on it, go to 7-Zip, tell it to extract it to course play master. Now it's gonna create a new folder that's unzipped that's got course play in it. You can now take the zip one here and put it in a trash can. Open up this file folder there's only one file in it called Course Play Master. We're going to double click on that. Now this is all the stuff that we saw on the GitHub page. That This is all the little files that make up Course Play. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of those files. Once they're highlighted, we're going to right click on it. We're going to go to 7-Zip. We're going to tell it to add it to an archive. A window pops up. If you notice in the top, it says Course Play Master Zip. That's the name of the, of the folder. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the zip. We're going to go past the zip, past the period. We're going to delete master all the way to where it just says Course Play dot zip. And then we're going to say OK. Now what that's going to do is it's going to create a new file here it just says course play and it is a zipped file. Highlight that, right click on it, copy it, and I'm going to put it on back on my desktop. So let me close this and I'm going to paste it to my desktop. Okay, you can now take this file and dump it. You're left with course play zipped up. All you have to do now is take that Drop it in your mod folder, and you're ready to go. Hope this was helpful to you. If you uh, want to see more of my videos, go to my YouTube page, and I'll see you on the farm in the next episode. Happy farming.